Hello everyone and welcome to this soft full body flow that we'll go through today. My name is Katerina and we'll get straight into it. Um, you can bring your hands onto the mat just underneath the shoulders finding a tabletop position. Knees under the hips. And we're going to get straight into movement. So starting to connect with our breath through a few rounds of cat and cow. So drop your heart, drop your belly and lift your gaze as you inhale. And then exhale, round the spine and draw your chin towards your chest. And then inhale, arc the spine, gaze up. And then exhale, round. You can close your eyes for a moment if that feels nice. It might help you draw in and really start to feel the movement, feel your body, feeling any tightness around, feeling how this movement feels in different sp uh, parts of the spine, the hips, the shoulders. Good. Keep going with your breath for one more round of inhale and then exhale. And then find a neutral spine. Keep rooting your hands down onto the mat. We're gonna kick our right leg back behind us and towards the left side of the mat. You can bring the ball of the foot down so that it's aimed at the left back corner of the mat. So it's probably off the mat at this point. Take another inhale here, open through the spine. You can press the ball of the foot down, feeling length in the right side of the body. And then from here, we're gonna start to draw a big circle with the tip toes bring the foot all the way towards the top right corner of the mat. And then from here, all the way back again towards the left back corner of the mat. You can gaze towards it from over your left shoulder and then bring it forward again, draw that big circle. Engaging through the core as you do that, keeping the movement controlled and back again. Okay, we'll do that once more back and forth. Good. And then bring your foot forward all the way towards the top of the mat. And then can you bring your weight onto it? So ending up in a sort of lizard pose, you can press your hands onto the mat, bring your hips forward and bend through the right knee. Good, now staying here for a moment, you can find a little bit of movement, maybe swaying from side to side. That might feel really nice for the hips. It does for mine. Allow the right knee to open out to the right and just breathe. Good. Drawing a full deep inhale in. And then as you exhale, we're going to start to move our weight back so that the right leg lengthens out. You can keep a micro bend in that knee. We're just going to kind of shuffle around, moving forward and then back. And then forward again, really just what we're aiming to do here is find space in the different parts of the body, in the hips, in the hamstrings, see what feels good for you. Good. Keep breathing, keep lengthening through the lower back. And now for one ah. final time, we'll bend the right knee, ending up in a sort of lizard pose. And then from here, pressing your left hand onto the mat, tuck the left toes under and open the right arm out. Good. Take an inhale, lengthen here. You can drop your hips lower down. And then keep pressing the left hand down and keep the left hand a little bit away from the right foot. We're going to step the left leg through and straighten it out in front of us. So where we end up is with our left leg straight in front of us, right knee bent. You can bring your right foot into the inner thigh and reach up as you inhale and then exhale, fold over that left leg. You can keep a micro bend there as well at this point. And you draw the shoulders back, take a deep inhale and lengthen. And then exhale, fold over. And stay here for one more full breath. And then as you exhale, you can start to roll the spine back up. We'll ground the right hand down behind us and reach the hips all the way up, coming into a supported side plank, a bit of a back bend. Good. 
take an inhale and then exhale sit the hips back down and we're going to come over both knees both ankles so you can bend the knees back onto all fours good hands come back down under the shoulders knees under the hips we'll do one round of cat cow inhale to open and then exhale round then coming back to your neutral spine we'll kick the left leg back behind us and now towards the right back corner of the mat you can gaze over the right shoulder to look at it to lengthen through the left side of the body press the ball of the foot down open through the chest and then we'll sweep the foot forward all the way towards the top left corner of the mat. And then bring it back again towards the back, gaze towards it, and then move it forward again. And then all the way back one final time. And forward again. Good. Now bending through the left knee, start to bring yourself into that uh, lizard pose. So whatever feels good in the hips at this point might be swaying. You can come up down onto your forearms. You can even lift your right knee off the mat. So really freely exploring how the hips are doing right now. Dropping them a little bit lower, opening through the chest. And remember to keep breathing. Good. And then from here, we're gonna start to move our weight back. So the most of the weight comes onto the right knee and the left leg starts to straighten out. Remember, you can always keep a micro bend here. So really being super mindful of the hamstring, feeling into it and, and allowing that to kind of determine where you go with the pose. And then you can move between these two poses, finding space in the legs, in the hips. And keep breathing. You can pause in your, um, this is a sort of half Hanumanasana shape and take a longer inhale in and an exhale out. And we're all going to end up with the left knee bent towards the top of the mat, right hand down. Now lift the right knee off the mat and open through the chest, coming into a lunge, but still keeping space between the left foot and the right hand. Good. Inhale. And then we're going to draw the right knee in towards the chest, sit down and draw the right leg through. Good. Left knee bent. You can keep the foot in the inner thigh. Reach up through the arms. And then exhale. Fold over the right leg. Taking a deep inhale. Lengthen through the spine. Gaze forward and roll the shoulders back. And then exhale. Fold. Take a full breath here, fold it over. And then roll all the way back up. Ground your left hand down behind you, pressing it down, pressing the left knee down. At the same time, we'll reach the hips up, right arm moving back and down. Good, open up through the chest. Take an inhale. And then we'll sit the hips back down. Now bending the right knee as well, so that we end up back on all fours in our tabletop position. Good. Take one round of cat-cow, inhale, and exhale. And then come back to center. We'll do a very similar sequence a second time, but this time we'll add a little bit on, making it a little bit stronger and a little bit longer too. So from here, we're going to kick the right leg back behind us, bring the ball of the foot towards the left back corner of the mat and inhale, lengthen. And then draw that big circle, bring the right foot all the way towards the top of the mat and now bending in towards the right knee, drop your hips down. Open through the chest, finding that space there. And then you can draw back into your sort of half Hanumanasana, reaching the fingertips towards the top of the mat, finding length in the back or the leg. And then re-bend the right knee. We're going to bring our left hand onto the mat, lift the left knee off the mat, and the right arm lifts up. Good. Take a deep inhale, really open 
create space here. And then we'll start to draw the left knee in towards the chest, step it forward through towards the back of the mat. And then the right knee opens out to the right. Inhale, reach the arms up. And then exhale, fold over the left. Take one deep inhale, lengthen. And then exhale, fold. Lengthen. Then roll the spine all the way up. Now the right hand comes behind us. We'll reach up through the hips, open up through the heart. Take an inhale here. And now listen really carefully. We're gonna bring our left hand down onto the mat behind us. So left hand, right hand next to each other and draw your right knee in towards the chest from here. So we're in a plank pose with our right knee hugging in towards the chest. And then from here, kick back into a three-legged dog. Right leg reaching back behind you. Good. Take an inhale. And then exhale, hug your right knee in towards the chest. Step it forward between the hands. Now we're facing the back of the mat. So you have to listen really carefully. You can sway back and forth a few times here, keeping your left knee lifted from the mat. Shoulders drawing back, spine is long. Beautiful, take an inhale. And then the left hand grounds down. We're gonna start to turn towards a twisted lunge, but we're gonna open our right foot slightly out so the right toes point out and the foot moves closer to the kind of mid area of the mat. Good, inhale here, lift up through the hips and almost side bend. And then exhale, drop your left hip down towards the mat. So you hover it over the mat. Good, do that once more, inhale, lift up. And then exhale, dip the hip down. Good, inhale, lift up. Bring your right hand all the way down, circle it down. And then we turn round through the left towards the old front of the mat, left knee bends, and we come into a skandhasana. You can bring your hands to heart center, or you can find support from the mat if you need that. Pointing your right toes up to find an opening in the right inner thigh. Good. Take an inhale here. Really lengthen through the spine and pull the shoulders back. And then exhale. We're going to bring our hands down and circle back towards the top of the mat. Both hands ground down and we find a plank pose. Now going through a vinyasa. You can bring your knees down or keep them lifted for it. Upward facing dog or cobra. And then finally, we're going to press back up into a downward facing dog. Good. You can find a little bit of movement here. We'll spend a few breaths in downward facing dog before moving to the other side and doing that whole sequence again. Good. Finding that really juicy stretch that you might get in your down dog. And spending one more breath there. And then with the exhale, release the knees back down, hands under the shoulders. Good. Might be wise actually to start your tabletop position around the center of the mat, so not too forward as we move forward quite a bit in the sequence. So from here, we kick the left foot back behind us, ball of the foot down towards the right back corner of the mat. Take an inhale, press the ball of the foot down. You can gaze back towards it. And then draw that really big circle towards the top of the mat and then bend the left knee. Bring your hips forward and down. Good, take a breath here. Feeling into the hips again. And then bring the weight back just for a breath into your half Hanumanasana. Good, find length in the back of the leg. And then re-bend it. Ground your right hand down, right knee lifts off the mat, right arm lifts up. We take up space here, inhale. And then draw your right knee in towards the chest, bring your bum down and right leg moves through, good. Left foot into the right inner thigh. We reach up as we inhale. And then exhale, fold over the leg. 
length and inhale. And exhale. Good. And then we roll the spine back up into a seat. Left hand comes behind us on the mat and we reach the hips up. Right arm long. You can press your right foot into the mat. Opening through the chest, really puffing out. Take an inhale. And then as we exhale, we drop the right hand down next to the left one. Press both hands down to hug the left knee in towards the chest, coming into your variation of a plank pose. And then from here, press back into a three-legged dog. Keep pressing the mat away from you as you inhale. And then hug your knee in towards the chest and step it forward between the hands. Good. Now you can sink the hips low. Keep your fingertips on the mat and just sway back and forth a few times. So finding space in the right hip flexor, in the hips, keep rolling the shoulders back. Take an inhale. And then pause as you exhale, bring your right hand down and start to open the left foot out to the side slightly, toes pointing out and the foot might move slightly towards the back of the mat. Inhale, lengthen, kind of side bending, and then coming onto the outside edge of the right foot, we dip the hips down, reach your left hand back. And then inhale, reach up. And exhale, dip, left hand moves back. We'll come back to it's the top of the mat, right hand grounds down and the left foot walks in. And then we turn all the way towards the right and also towards the old front of the mat, coming into a skandhasana on your right side. So you can have your hands at heart center if that's possible. You can also stay a little bit higher up through the hips. And if your right uh, heel doesn't ground down, that's completely fine. So see what works for you. And just take a deep inhale here, working in towards the left inner thigh. Good. Final breath. And then hands ground down and we turn towards the top of the mat, stepping into a plank pose and going through a vinyasa of your choice. So either with the knees down or lifted, upward facing dog or cobra. And finally a downward facing dog. Good. Take a full breath here. Breathing in and out. Good. And then we're going to bring our knees down onto the mat. Keep the toes tucked and sit back over the heels. This can be a big stretch for the bottoms of the feet. But can you stay here for a moment, really bringing your weight onto the heels? and see what this brings up for you. Roll the shoulders back. We're gonna bring our hands to the lower back, interlace them there, and then roll the shoulders back again, open through the chest, and start to move the hands back behind you. Can you lift up through the chest? Keep breathing, maybe slightly gazing up, Take an inhale, and then an exhale, release the hands. You can bring them onto your lap, and take one more full breath here. As we calm down our practice pretty quickly. And then you can untuck the toes, bring the tops of the feet back onto the mat, Hands can stay where they are on the lap. And we drop into stillness. And can you actually drop into stillness here without fidgeting around, without fixing anything? So often when we come into a seat and, and we're told to stay still and sit down and sort of sit in meditation for a moment, we start to fix everything. There's that strand of hair that might bother us or 
maybe our shirt isn't sitting right, or there's something annoying about the waistband of our yoga pants. But even if there is a sensation that kind of annoys you, can you let it be and kind of move past it? And instead, just come into stillness without fixing anything. Allow the inhales and the exhales to flow through you. Slow and steady. And just allowing for this moment here in your seat in stillness. Allow yourself to feel how good stillness feels after movement. And we so often just rush past it. But this time, can you actually sit with it and take it all in? There's just this moment it's just you and your mat, and nothing else has to exist right now. You can stay here as long as you like. If you want to spend a longer time here in your seat, you can do that. Or you can bring your hands to heart center, expressing gratitude for this practice. And then finally, bow your head towards your hands. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me for today's practice. Um, it was a soft stretch, especially for the hips. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm here every Thursday. I post a new video every week. Um, so please subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the flow, so then you get notified about each new one. I really hope I see you next week, too. Thank you.